Oh, what was that moment? What was that moment? It is black. You do not hear what you know. Yet, what does it force? Because I am a new man, a young couple, I have three years piano. Reverend Doctor, Cecilia, your number. Friends, I I met at the early 90s, and um, songs like "Great Provider," "My Lord's a Great Provider," and "Join uh, Me." These songs have been songs that has been dear to us. Um, in fact, this one, "Album Song Bawa Bonivi." I remember whilst I was at school of performing arts, we had a drama, and uh, the highest peak was this song to end it. His life has been a blessing to many. Gary Olsen is my father, my godfather. I got to know him way back in the... 2001, when I was in secondary school, I was with Alka Secondary School, was those days. And I had the opportunity to invite him to come preach in the school. I was part of the chaplaincy board. So one time, I saw my P, that's the Auntie Lydia, that's one of the table sisters. I saw her around our school, so I, I, I stopped her, took their number, called Reverend Johnson, sent him the letter. Well, um, as time goes on, we go there to visit him. So we had, uh, I had some female friends who were my classmates, and they called themselves fans. And they were like some a cappella group, uh, uh, um, some a cappella group in those days. So very often mobilized those ladies, and he formed those female a cappella group. Papa, na mpocho, pasa yos ni yon. Eh, eh, ko ayja. Yes, so yes, we be wuna. Yes, be so. You man, I'm baby. I yes, so yeah, yeah. Um, be a fantini. Oh, okay. Me fi Elmina. Hmm. Ena me go school wa kra ha sanko. Sunyani secondary school. Okay. Yeah. Asana Legon. Na Bible school so Philippines Bible seminar. Ena. Now we will have a stress of evangelistic ministry. We shall see with CAC, Christ okay. Apostolic Church. Okay. Yeah, before we call have a stress of evangelistic ministry in Kumasi. And the demand and the other beef, we be ICGC. Yeah, as this year, we share ICGC, House of Refuge, and I'm a down. Okay. And cry. He started up in. Kumasi, but I'm happy that Accra took him up, and uh, I have visited him in his church. He's with ICGC um, when they were at uh, UPSA, and um, he is humble. He loves the Lord, and he has of late dedicated himself to be a blessing to the work at Musica. I mean, it's not an easy job. But I admire his zeal and um, um, decision to help the industry in that way. I had the opportunity to stay with them, I think, in the year 2003 in Adenta. So he took me as his son, as his first son. It's like everything, everywhere he goes and everything. Reverend Austin really mentored me and helped me and has brought me this far. In how many years? Hey, that is 19, 1990. Wow, 13 years. Yeah. That means 13 years. Sure. But I was playing it recently. I was playing it recently. I was playing I want to show you okay. something. Uh, after praying that prayer, mm -hmm. one day, I was in the garage, I was in the garage, I was in the taxi. And I'm a team, cotton banana, and you know, bar meet a bar meeting just like that. Mm -hmm. So I started humming it. I'm catching a driver and he said, You know what? You know, so that I'm coming to a coffee, I'm mm -hmm. recording. Mm -hmm. Then I heard a voice tell me, If I give you something, you don't forget. 
Today, through him, I got to know the Table Sisters, and the Table Sisters gave me the opportunity to see so many people in the music industry. At times, sometimes, I, um, when he records, we go to the studio. I saw some of his CDs. I remember when he did the Be Exalted, the Be Exalted, you know, my cock cut them to my cock to see, you know, and a cassette. And I'm a tongue, then jamming the pen one. So, I say very, very big thank you to you. I appreciate you so much. I love you so much. For being there for me. I pray more grace for Reverend Yosin, even as he works in still writing new songs and helping the industry. I also thank God for his wife. Um, I always tell him, buy one, get one free. He has been the brain behind most of the beautiful songs the Tegu sisters have been producing. And I say, God bless you for being a gift to nation Ghana. So oh, it's a good place to put us together. Wow. Amen. So shall we stand as we receive on stage our Reverend Dr. Yosin? Welcome daddy to the stage with a clap offering and a shout. Daddy never grows. Yeah, the sir, I got a dear say, and Please, if you're a minister here, please join us. All the musicians that sang, please join daddy before daddy say a word so that photos will be going on. Pacha young papa no ma so for one and you to fuck a see and then we buy here. Young Papa, let us start here and we'll see you in the next one. First of all, I want to say thank you to God for the gift, the talent that He's given me. seeing through. Um, what I want to say is that whatever you are doing, like 
the scripture says in Colossians chapter 3, do it with all your heart. Don't do it because you are expecting some money. Don't do it because you are expecting some projection. People will project you. You do it because of God. And he, the Bible says that it is God who works in man both to will and learn to do. When you are able to please heaven, he will work in people to help you. And I want to uh, thank God for the lives of all the musicians around. And I want to say, please, do it unto God. Don't do it for social media. You do it unto God. Don't do it for money. You do it unto God. He knows what to do. And uh, let me say this surprising to you. Uh, anytime I go somewhere and they say legend, legend, I become disturbed a little. I don't like it at all. Because uh, deep down in my heart, when we talk about music, I am now starting. So I am now beginning my music. I've not finished. I said I will retire and will be, only be writing around 95 years. But from now, I will sing and write and sing and write. As long as Jesus is alive, we do it. And what you need is humility. Don't project yourself. Project God. When you project God, he knows what to do with you. People may not recognize you, but when heaven recognizes you, God knows what to do. Humble yourself. Learn the scriptures. These days, there are so many songs out there that are not scripture. Uh, we preach the word of God through the medium of melody. And you are any singer, any musician, you are a preacher using music as the medium of uh, simulating the word of God. So, steady the word. Steady. Don't be one of those people who go to church after singing, they leave and go and stand there. If you've sung to bless people, sit down for the preacher. To God use him to bless you. And I want you to be praying for this organization, Majestic Praise. I want you to pray for them. Good things are difficult to start. But with prayer, you will make it. Boss, it is just the beginning. You've seen nothing yet. It is just the beginning. I want you to record this. The sort of pastors that will stand on your platform. The sort of musicians that will stand on your platform. God will speak to people and they will call you and they will say, we want to sponsor what you are doing for the Lord. You keep looking, keep looking to God. Don't look to man. Don't look to anybody. No uh, rich man or rich woman. Just look to God. He knows how to bring the gold inside the fish. He knows how, where to direct you to. And God richly bless all of you. And ending, I will say, remember, our labor will not be in vain. Amen. Thank you, and God bless us all. You can do that better. Are we done with the photograph? God bless you. God bless you. Yes,
your hands together for Jesus wherever you are. Oh, are you clapping or you are doing something like clapping? Come on, put your hands together for Jesus and add a resounding noise of praise. Hallelujah. You see, many a times I begin to wonder why Christians 
carry all sorts of illnesses. And when they go to the hospital and the doctor declares something, they take it personal. They will say, oh, the doctor said, I have migraine. And over the years, I have sat down and I've realized that when the president or any big man walks in, Christians want to be noticed. They will get up and bow and somersault and do that they want to do so that the man will know that they acknowledge him. But when we are lifting up this name called Jesus, people sit and wonder. They begin to act like they are speaking in Chinese. They don't understand. Tonight, I came to preach Jesus to you. I don't know, maybe you came here with hypertension. Whatever you came here with, the man is already waiting. And it's what you do that will attract him to move. Before I minister, some years back, I was diagnosed of polycystic ovarian syndrome with blood tubes. I sat before a consultant who told me, you know what, you can't give birth. Even if you will give through. It went on and on and on. Until one day I took the report. And I placed it in my room. And I stepped on it. And I said, with whose report do I believe? Child of God, I have served this God. But I did not serve him in a way that attracted his hand to move. The young man spoke about dancing. I danced and it moved the hand of God. I was diagnosed of this disease and I was scheduled to do artificial insemination in April. When I went to take a scan, I went to sing somewhere and a prophet told me that you are pregnant. And I said, ah, man of God, as I stand, uh, you know, Kotoko people are playing football. How can I be pregnant? I go to the hospital. He said, if you think I'm lying, check it now. And I said, I don't want any surprises. I went back to the hospital. When I took the scan, lo and behold, there was a baby. Tonight, if only but you open up yourself, Jesus will touch you in a spectacular manner that you never ever expected. I just want you to lift up your hands wherever you are. Just, just lift up your hands. And if you are expecting God to do something for you, you can stand to glorify his name. You are highly lifted up. There is no one like you.
You, can you rise up to your feet with me? Even as we are about to, can you, can you just get up to your feet, everybody? Can you rise to your feet, everybody? Can you lift up your right hands wherever you're standing? Lift up your right hands wherever you're standing. It's been a night of praise, it's been a night of worship. Can you lift up your voice and begin to speak in the words of the Spirit? We can sing all the songs, we can dance all the dances, but the question is, where do we go from here? And what happens to that life that we want to have, that connection that we want to have with God? I don't know about you, but I know that he is a miracle working God tonight. Can you lift up your hands with me? If you are not sick and you can stand to your feet because the Bible says that when the praises goes up, he comes down himself. And so in this atmosphere where God is here, you don't want to miss your miracle. Can you close your eyes with me? Lift your voice and speak with God. There is an atmosphere where we want to connect with God.
There's power in the voice that I used to one more time. One friend up. Lift your voice. Too many nights. Yeah, 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 you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Make some noise for Jesus. Make some noise for Jesus. Make some noise for the author and finisher of your faith. The one who sits on the throne. The one that when he says yes, nobody can say no. Come on, make some noise for him. Make some noise for him. Anyone that tells you that serving God is not sweet, tell the person that the person is lying. Serving God is so sweet. Do you believe that? If you know you believe that serving God is so sweet, can you just rise up on your feet and begin to give a waving offering to Jesus? Come on, begin to give a waving offering to Jesus. Can you declare him the King of kings and the Lord of lords? Adosha. Come on, give, just declare him. Call him sweet name, sweet name. I call him the King of kings, the Lord of lords, the Alpha, the Omega. The beginning and the end. The one who sits on his throne. Shaking our glory. Baba who, Baba who. Come on, just give it up to Jesus. All of the God. They are the works of men. You are the most high God. I say all of the gold, I am a notion. They are the mistakes of me. I am. You are the most high gold. There is no like you. I say all of the gold. They are the inabilities of me. But you are the most high gold. There is no like you. I say all of the gods. They are the works of me. You are the most like God. There is no like you. We say all of the gods. They are the mistakes of me. But you are the most I go. There is no like you. Who is like unto thee? Oh, <laughs> who is like unto you? Come on, give a praise. Oh, we say, who is like? Unto you, oh. 